again. Sorry for anybody who's just joining. I'm just here to do a flip through of some videos. I'm going to do them. Oh, some journals. I'm going to do the videos one after another, not all together. And we're going to start with this little puppy here. It's um, a hardback, fabric covered, and I made a tassel and I actually tied in the charm with the tassel. I just thought it was nicer like that. There's a key, there's some bronze bits, some pearls, and the usual bits and bobs that fit in quite nicely with the fabric and with the book. Now the closure, if any of you watched um, the video I made in Italy, you'll remember I found these in a hardware store. That's the closure. Works perfectly for this style, I think. And the little collage on the front, the image is from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. It's the Butterfly Babies. Really, really cute. And I just added um, the usual music and uh, muslin and little buttons and, you know, the usual. So, she's quite chunky. I don't know how many pages she's got, but she's got a lot. Um, I think it's over 200, front and back. So, opening her up, she's got um, Tim Holtz papers in the front. And then the usual, my usual tag. I'll just make sure you're in focus and in camera. There's a tag up here. So, a couple of layered pockets there. And a little uh, page out of a butterfly encyclopedia so I use this kit with this paper pack I have been going through my paper pack stash um, to try and use up um, a lot of papers that I really like but didn't know what to do with and this one was giving me a bit of a hard time because it's very textured and some of it feels very fabricy um, and I really didn't know how to integrate it into a junk journal and then I found this kit um, from Mrs. Cog's Crafts, the Butterfly Babies, and it just tied in perfectly with colors, just everything. So I went through the kit and I read all the little stories at the bottom and all the butterfly babies have plant friends. So I went through like this little um, banded hair streak loves uh, scrub oak. So I went through and I looked for oak trees. Well, scrub oak, I had trouble finding, so, but there is oak trees. Uh, in the pictures and it, that theme goes on through the book. Here I did some very Wendy inspired material collaging and there's a little bead hanging off here also inspired from Mrs. Cog. I, this book really it's got Nick the Booksmith in it, it's got Mrs. Cog, it's got Wendy, it's got Gail, it's got all of the gurus um, you know that we all know it's got something from all of them in it um, and I, I'm so grateful for what I've learned from all of them. So this little uh, butterfly likes buttercups and daisies. This isn't a buttercup, but it just looked like a buttercup. But here's the daisies, and I found the flower children picture of little daisy. So there's some more lace with a dangle. My usual bee stamping, fold out. These papers here are all from Italy, from the vintage composition books that I found. All of this is original. Um, the writing is beautiful. So there's some stamping. All of the pages are, that's Luxembourg, a little map of Luxembourg that I've uh, distressed and just added a little tag onto. All the pages are distressed or coffee dyed, tea dyed. And there's the center of this signature. So everything's distressed or left. I left the original ones the way they were these composition books because they're just so fine and they're already um, well well colored from age. I've got a little uh, flap. This guy likes the orchard so there's lots of the fruit and the blossoms from the orchards there. There's some eco stamping there. I love this uh, writing. I, must, you know, I don't know how old the kid was but it's writing is already <laughs> much better than mine is. This lovely lace here, uh, tied in well with this. See the colours, how they are uh, tied in really well with this kit and the bark of the trees. And there you go. This is another um, one that likes oak. Okay, on. 
love the little images in the kit. This one is the orange tip, so I thought that tied in well, nicely with this shimmery paper. Where I must say, when I saw the shimmery paper in the first, you know, I liked the paper pad as such, but this was one of the pieces where I thought, hmm, don't think I'll ever use that. Another uh, material, little uh, lace muslin, or I don't know what you call this. It's more like a loose canvas, very loose canvas. But it's my favourite material at the moment. So, there's my butterfly. Let's go to my book. That's a French book that I have. For another tuck spot there. Some punched out. And some tuck spots. Little booklets. There's another tuck spot behind here. I didn't fill up every single tuck spot because um, otherwise this sweetie would just explode, which is something we wouldn't want. I like the way this uh, satin and this color tied in with the, uh, the paper here. I had to back it with something and I thought the brown paper would be best because um, on the backs, the pages are quite rough some of them so it, there's you couldn't write on them i do have a writing board to insert into this one but i just didn't put it in yet these are all printed on good quality writing paper so most the majority are not backed because um, i just don't see the point in using uh, just normal printing paper to uh, back good quality writing paper so, but if they are on something else then that's fine, I just have a little booklet in here. This is the middle of this signature with a little pocket on each side with a little journaling cards. There's a little envelope I made out of one of the pages with another little butterfly. She has some colour for, was it a he? Most of them are he's actually. There we go. Some more stamping. I love the uh, staining on this. Uh, Page. This is my love. This image here. Look at this little guy. Look at that pose and that little stubborn face. I didn't put anything in the pocket, right? And I just left it quite simple because I just love the way um, this paper tied in with his wings and the fabric. And yep, just like it, simple the way it is. Love it. Going along. Another fabric. With a satin tag with some beads that tie in nicely with the colour. And here we have a, an envelope. We've got the silvery blue here. It's got two journaling cards that are both sewn with silvery blue on them. And then here behind, if I can get it out, there we go. And we've got the spring azure, and the spring azure likes dogwood blossoms, so I put those there. They're still in there we go there's a dogwood blossom sewn in there but like i said all the uh botanical pictures have something to do with the little stories all the music sheets are from italy from the books i bought in italy there's another one just sewn around and with a bit of lace here's my uh i've done this a few times I used a food cone and uh, I normally put lace in them, but I thought this time these two, these um, friends could peek out of there because Little Sulphur is just the cutest. Have a look. Little Sulphur plays in mud. Oops, I just gave you a whack, so you're probably wiggling around. So Little Sulphur is a cheeky devil, likes to play in mud. And there as well, I've got some layering, fabric layering and some trim here. I love this trim. This pattern paper is, is lovely. Just, I felt like leaving that one on its own. Maybe, you know, for somebody to put a photograph on or whatever. And then we've got a paper bag with a journaling card. Another small journaling card there. And then we have the middle of the signature again. And another page, another journaling card. And another journaling card. I mean, there's lots and lots. It's, you know, even though there's a lot of images in here. There's really tons of room for scribbling and for writing and journaling. And it could be used for so many things. I mean, you could even put photographs on here, especially on these pages. A photograph would look really nice on these ones with the dark background. Little, there's loads of tuck spots as well. 
another uh, little bead up there. So I'll move along. Love this paper. This paper is, uh, feels very, very much like um, just like a not silky as such, but I think well, I'm sure you can imagine what I'm trying to say. It's like I go brain dead when the camera's on. Terrible. Here, yeah, this this is a better one here. You can see. Lovely fact. I just left that absolutely plain without anything on it. Just love it. It's nice to have something simple once in a while. Love this. Oops, it's bent over there. Like that will straighten out. Love that fluffy material. Another tuck spot with journaling card. And here again, we start a new signature. Here, there's lots of tuck spots. There's one here, one behind it. Another one here and another one at the back. And then I just did the same image, just, just a bit reduced. And then here there's a little collage on the uh, corner. I like that. It's just got some vintage lace and this little botanical image and some of Wendy's influence up here. Love the uh, butterfly images. Here I went a bit wild on the uh, the stamping. I think one of those are flying the wrong way. Well, do they actually fly down? I guess they do. <laughs> so, got some crinkly paper. Have to have crinkly paper in there. I love the writing here in this one. I hope the lighting's okay. It's a bit of a dull day. It's been raining. Here is a tuck spot at the back with some collaging here in this envelope. You can open it up and journal inside, and this little journaling card in there. Some uh, prints there, not too much in this one actually. Some quickly paper. There's another tuck spot up here. This effect here came because I dried, I don't know if you can see it, you can see the lines there. I dried it, we've got um, a little wood shed that's very low. Well, not wood, it's just a, a roof over a little wood pile, and it's done with decking wood. And that's why I dry my papers. And of course the decking, the teak um, print, well, it's not teak, but the print of the wood comes through, which is quite interesting. So here we've got this tuck spot, it's a vapor bag, so this one up here, and there's also a small one here at the back. I don't have to stick that one. So, come to the end. There's a little flip out here, and here's a pocket with a little flip out. And a tuck spot with a tag in it, a little bead. Here's the usual, the same papers. Old botanical book. It's not easy to hold in, but something very similar, but very nice pictures in it too. The flip up. This I love this plant. I've ne never seen it before until I read this, and I went to, onto the internet to look. It's called the Dutchman's Pipe. It's really interesting. So you actually learn something when you go through these things. Some Edith Holden in German. And then here's uh, the band of purple with some tuck spots. And here's the last page with some journaling cards. And a big one. And that's that one. Okay, that's it. So we got um, how many signatures in this one? Do the six seven in this one yeah and they're quite big but there's not too many pages so i just wanted to use like i said the uh the main paper pack in each signature so i limited that to two in each so that's why we've got so many signatures but it's a lovely book it lies flat um it's very nice to handle it's very flexible so on to the next thing thanks for watching